Hi folks, today we're going to look at Firefox containers and keep your online life separate. Um, so, do you ever feel like your online life is a bit messy? Like your work stuff, your personal browsing and that late night impulse shopping are all crammed into one big digital drawer? Well guess what? They are. And that means sites can peek into other parts of your life. Today we're th fixing that with something super cool and simple in Firefox called multi-account containers. Think of it as giving each part of your online life its own private soundproof room. What it does and why it matters. Um, they basically put invisible walls around your tabs. This means your Amazon login can't see your ex login and your work email can't see your YouTube history. It stops those sneaky trackers from connecting the dots across different websites. Um, it's like having multiple browsers open at once, but all within one Firefox window. Uh, no more digital snooping. As you can see, we have X here, and that is in our personal container. And we have Amazon.com in our shopping container. Okay, so first things first, we need to get this magic tool. So open up Firefox, and then head up to the menu, and scroll down to Extensions and Themes. From here, uh, we want to make sure extensions is selected, and then you want to search add-ons, and we are going to search for multi-account containers, and then hit enter. And you will see then Firefox multi-account containers. Uh, it has uh, 384,000 uh, plus users, so we will select it here, and then you want to click add to Firefox and then you want to click add again. Uh, you'll see a little square icon appear in the toolbar uh, and that's your new privacy superpower. Okay so we're going to set up our first containers. Uh, first thing you want to do is go up to the toolbar and select your uh, containers icon and we We'll go through these. A better way to manage all the things you do online. Okay, get started. Put containers to work for you. Next. A place for everything and everything in its place. Next. Always open sites and the containers you want. Next. Container tabs when you need them. Next. Syncing containers is available now. I'm not going to do that for this video. At the, not at the moment anyway. So we'll click not now. And we are not going to use Mozilla's VPN because as far as I'm aware, they want to charge you a fee. So not now. All right, so as you can see, there are four containers already in place that have been created by the extension itself. To create a new container, uh, we will go down to Manage Containers. And from here, you want to select New Container. And then we can give it a name. So I'm going to call this sports and give it a color. We'll go with green and then we can select uh, an icon. Um, what will we pick? We'll go with, I'll pick the sunglasses and select OK. So now you can see we have our personal work, banking, shopping, and then the new one we just created, which is uh, Sports. All right, so this is where the real magic happens. We're going to teach Firefox to automatically open certain websites in their designated container. So open up Firefox, and for this example, I'm going to go to NBA, uh, MBA.com, and I'm going to add this to the sports container that we just created a moment ago. So to do that, you can either click here, the icon, or you can also click it over here. And then what you want to do is go always open this site in and select the container that you created. And as you can see, it's give the tab its own color and it's put it into the container sports. All right, so we'll add another one. Uh, we will open a new tab and I will go to X. And we'll click on that, and from here we are going to select the Containers tab and always open this site, and I want to have this in Personal. 
And as you can see, it's give us a blue color up on the tab and it has placed it into personal. So every time now that we go to X or MBA, it will automatically open in its corresponding container. So we have X in our personal blue container and we have the MBA in our green sports container. And if we close our tabs now, and then we reopen them. And if we go then from here to MBA, and select MBA, open this site in your assigned container. Remember my decision for this site, and select Open in Sports Container. And as you can see, it's now opened in our sports container. And if we go to X, we open up a new tab and search X and select that. Open this site in your assigned container. Remember my decision for this site, open and personal container. And it's in our personal container now, which is blue. So if we just open up a tab now again and go to MBA, there it will automatically open under the correct container that we set. Um, you know, this, this, this is a game changer. No more accidentally logging into your personal Google account while trying to do work stuff. It's, uh, it's, it's excellent. All right, so opening links the smart way. Uh, what if you're on a new site in your personal container and you see a link to a product you want to buy? So I'm here in my personal container and I'm at XDA and I'm going to scroll down and see here there's a Raspberry Pi 5. So if I wanted to buy this, I can right click and then I can scroll up, open the link and new container tab and then I can select shopping. That link then opens in your pink shopping container keeping your personal browsing separate from your retail therapy. Okay, and just a few more settings to be aware of. Um, if you want to edit any of the containers, you can go up to the containers icon and then select manage containers. And you can see we have the personal work, banking, shopping and sports. Sports is the one we created. But if you want to edit any of them, you can select personal. And here you can change your name, the color, uh, the icon and the there's settings then for the VPN. Uh, also, just to be aware, if you wanted to create a new container, you can go to Manage Containers, New Container, and from here you can give it a name, an icon, and a color. And there you have it. You've just given your online life a serious privacy upgrade, keeping everything neatly separated and stopping those pesky trackers from following you around. It's a simple change that makes a huge difference. If you're stuck with any of the steps, uh, leave a comment below and I will get back to you. And also hit that like button and consider subscribing. I've got new easy privacy guides coming every week. And if you want to take your Firefox privacy even further, check out my Firefox About Config Deep Dive video. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Until next time, see ya.